Hi, my name is Ed Loftus. I'm a professor of medicine at Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota in the Division of Gastroenterology and Hepatology. Um, I specialize in taking care of patients with inflammatory bowel disease, which is Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. And I wanted to talk about a recently published article. This article was published in Clinical Gastroenterology and Hepatology. It's online early. It actually hasn't made print yet. And this, the, the first author is David Falick. It's a large group of authors from what we call the Victory Consortium. And this is a consortium of about 10 or 11 academic medical centers across the U.S. who decided five years ago to pool their observational data about the use of venalizumab in clinical practice. And in this particular paper, we decided to analyze important outcomes like clinical remission, steroid-free remission, and endoscopic healing um, by disease duration. And so we, we picked two years. So patients that had early disease duration had less than two years of either Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis, and longer duration was defined as greater than two years. And in this analysis, there were over 600 Crohn's patients and about 450 um, ulcerative colitis patients. And again, we looked at clinical remission, which was defined as absence of symptoms, steroid-free remission, meaning absence of symptoms off steroids, and endoscopic remission, which for Crohn's disease meant no erosions or ulcers on endoscopy, and for ulcerative colitis meant a Mayo uh, endoscopic score of zero or one. And in this analysis, we found that disease duration mattered for Crohn's disease, but not for ulcerative colitis. So in other words, we saw higher rates of clinical remission, steroid-free remission, endoscopic healing in the patients with shorter disease duration of Crohn's disease. And these um, differences range from about a 60% improvement in clinical remission for shorter duration Crohn's disease, but for steroid-free remission, the, the rates were three times higher uh, for early disease. And so there was a significant difference in Crohn's, but in the ulcerative colitis patients, there was no difference in those three outcomes with respect to disease duration. And that kind of makes sense because we think of Crohn's disease, the longer you have uncontrolled inflammation, the more likely you are to develop an intestinal complication like a stricture or a fistula. In ulcerative colitis, this concept of disease progression uh, and bowel damage is less clear. And so um, these results kind of fit with, uh, with what we would think. And so um, it's an important study and it highlights the importance of getting patients on effective therapy earlier in their course of Crohn's disease uh, for certain. And uh, we look forward to more studies from this multi-center consortium, not just with vetalizumab, but with other drugs such as eustachinumab. Thanks.